up guys happy new year merry christmas whatever you celebrate um yeah it's been a busy one sorry we did not do a christmas theme video this year jesse and i both work in the shipping and service industry and we were just crazy busy this year with covid kind of letting up and everything just going wild so we were really busy um out there so we didn't get a chance to get one done but anyway this is the sweet truck that my wife actually had bought for me for this christmas and um yeah, it's the RC four wheel drive TF2 long wheelbase 1987 Toyota Extra Cab. Uh, obviously, this is the one that is going to look like your Marty McFly from Back to the Future movie series. If you guys are old enough to remember it, if not, go and check out Back to the uh, Future movie series. Your parents will love to watch them with you. Great movies. Um, so yeah, we actually got Marty McFly already inside there we were able to pick up that action figure from NECA N-E-C-A they make all the action figures that we use uh, that we're not sponsored we just like to buy their product because they're very nice and uh, they work great he actually was like sub six inches a little bit shorter so he actually fit in the truck pretty nice so that was pretty cake um, yeah so the truck comes steel bumpers now the front bumper is mounted to the body because they want it to be super scale so don't be smashing and things like that you will break the front of the body on there um, does have a steel roll bar and a steel rear bumper very nice truck comes with these stamped steel wheels painted silver and black on these nice uh, I think they're Goodyear Wranglers. Yeah, Goodyear Wrangler kind of all-terrain tire really deep lug on them really skinny very nice tire I have a different plan for these tires though. They're gonna go on to another truck um, So when the wife got me the truck, she knows we're gonna modify it right away So she also picked up the light kit we're gonna put into it, which is part number Z E0104 and that is for um, the RC four-wheel drive, 1985 Toyota 4Runner hard body. But this will work on this truck, so we're going to run that. And she actually was able to score uh, some of these new Proline Slot Mag 155 aluminum composite wheels. I'll get into that aluminum composite in a second. But anyway, they are 155 um, aluminum Slot Mag, like your classic old-school 80s wheel. There, we able to see that too shiny. Yeah, very cool very nice so anyway what they mean by aluminum composite is the front face the front half of the rim is aluminum also with your hub in it which is nice too and just your back locking ring is plastic and your internal uh, bead lock is uh, plastic so comes with all the hardware the only complaint that I have was the screws they put in the middle around the hub were not scale they were just a regular um, you know cap head screw in silver uh, we're gonna swap that out to some steel hardware so they look really good but uh, yeah, anyway, we just wanted to show you guys the truck. Um, same thing as the Toyota 85 4Runner. It's got the little hood or the little engine. Or ah. It has the scale engine underneath the hood, but this hood actually comes with a prop rod. So you can actually hold it open, which the other one did not. So we're going to have to look at putting one into that one because that's a nice feature. Um, yeah, fully detailed interior. The doors do open. They're very tough to get open though. I used to, I used, I like to get a tool and get behind it and just pull them open. And they close, of course. <laughs> hey, come on now, don't scratch paint. You wanna be very careful you don't get in there and scratch any paint. There we go, and the door's actually open quite nice. Nice and far, you can see Marty in there chilling, doing his thing, we gotta get him strapped in there. And uh, yeah, otherwise it's gonna be a fun little truck. We're gonna go through the basic mods. We're gonna take out the short leaf spring. I've already taken the ones out of the rear. We gotta take them out of the front. Um, you can see the wheel in the arch is a little bit, little bit more uh, prone to the front. So once we actually bring the truck down, it's gonna sit in the middle, but we need to lower this guy down. So we kind of give him the pro new kind of look stance. We're gonna drop him right down, get him looking a lot better than where he's sitting right now. And uh, yeah, so stay tuned guys. We're gonna get into throwing these wheels and tires together. We'll throw them onto the truck. We're gonna mod out, um, put the steel hardware in the middle so they look even better. And uh, yeah, we'll throw the light kit into it and we'll take it outside, go run around. We're gonna put some TSL swampers onto those uh, slot mags from Proline. Uh, of course, so it's our go-to tire. And we'll just put these guys back on another build down the road. A little bit stiff, a little bit skinny. And winter time here, this is not gonna hold up well. So stay tuned guys. I'm gonna get to uh, throwing these wheels and tires on this truck.
Okay guys, there we go, there we have it. We got her sitting on the TSL 155s we let, like we love. Uh, we got those new Proline aluminum wheels on there looking just fantastic. They fit the ear of the truck. They no longer fit the movie theme with the black and the silver wheel, but we don't really care about that. We like the truck on its own. Um, yeah, so I did lower the bumper down on the back to the second hole, it says in the pictures, illustrations put on the, the bottom hole. Put it in the middle hole, it fits better. And I had to shim out the one side of it with a washer because it was kind of made a little bit crooked, but easy fix there for uh, any real hobbyist. Um, yeah, so we get the light kit into it, looking fantastic. There we go. We got the lights, the markers, the valence lights in there. And we've got the running lights. I might actually clip out the ones on the orange and just leave the red. We don't need the orange back here. We're not doing turn signals, we're not doing four ways. So probably just gonna clip the wires on those um, and just leave the red ones in there. So yeah, besides that, she's done. Uh, we're just waiting to get it outside uh, to finish up the end of this video with a little bit of wheeling. I'll do it in the evening time uh, so we can show off the lights on it. But uh, right now it's like minus 27, minus 28 outside feels like minus 35 in the wind so uh, I'm gonna stay inside for a little bit and work on some other projects but stay tuned for a trailing video of this guy coming up down the road you guys we just wanted to show you some quick changes um, we did also go through we took out the short leaf and we took out the internal springs we can actually get some decent articulation out of this thing now here Doesn't really show you if I'm holding my fat hand in there so Yeah, so we can get a bit more articulation, and as we keep going, right, that's going to come together and uh, start it, uh, getting softer and just start, you know, kind of flowing and working on its own. The springs do take time to break in. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned, guys. See you on the next one.